Hi, my name is Peter Butler and I'm a graduate from Animation Mentor. I'm also the creator of the short film Baggage. Today I want to talk about weight and some tips and techniques that you can use to get your weight to feel right in your animation. So for me, the three principles that are most important to get your weight correct are the, your timing, your spacing and your posing. Especially your posing. It, it really tells the story of how heavy something is. So for this particular shot, which was a shot where Sam's struggling with his bag in the airport, I shot two pieces of uh, reference. Uh, the first one was this one here, where he's kind of shaking the bag. And then the second one <clears throat> was him swinging it. I went with the second one because I felt it had more appeal and it was more entertaining. Um, I always shoot reference actually, it's one of those things that I think even, no matter how simple a shot is, I think you should always shoot reference because it can always bring up elements that you, you'd never have imagined. Um, so I recommend it, it's, it's one of those things, most things these days have cameras on, mobile phones have cameras on so it's not that hard to just go out and quickly shoot some ref and you'll be surprised every time all those little elements that you'd never thought of um, that you've seen the reference. So looking at this particular sh um, this particular shot here then, I took two key poses and the way I came up with those two key poses was to do with the hips, um, the core of the body. This bag's heavy and actually in the reference the bag's heavy as well, I filled it with um, weights just because I wanted to get the body mechanics correct and if I just used a light bag I just I, I knew I wouldn't get the correct movement and, and you can see that you can see that in the reference here the fact that my body's really arched over here if I hadn't done that I probably would have been standing up here somewhere um, so this again going back to the posing point this really tells the story here you know this is heavy you don't actually have to see it moving to see that that's heavy you can see, well, my face says a lot, but the actual, um, the arc in my back there, so you've got a nice C shape there already, and the fact that I'm trying to get my weight right, right over the top of that, uh, of that um, bag. So that's really important. Another uh, really um, important point to make is the heavier something is, the more you have to use the core of your body. So with this, it's pretty heavy. So as I'm dragging up, watch what my hips do. My hips are driving the motion to try and pull that bag up. Everything else follows after that, which is the whole idea of follow through. So hips go up, then the body, then my arm, and then my hand. So you get some really nice overlap through the body there, but it all starts with the hips because that bag's so heavy. If that bag was a book or a feather even, I wouldn't even have to use my arm, I could just use my hand to move it. Um, but again, because it's heavy, comes from the hips. Spacing is another really important thing. So if you look here, if I put a marker pen on my thumb there, and then went through frame by frame, it takes a while for me to get up to speed. So each dot would be quite close together to start with, because that bag again is heavy, it's going to take me a while to get the force up to pull it up. I can't just yank that up really fast, it's not a fast out it's a slow out and then eventually I'll get the momentum so there's bigger space in there but that's really important to get right, get your spacing right to really show that weight so there it goes goes up so if we look at the, um, the actual Maya file here we can see that in action so that was one of my key poses and I based these key poses literally on just what the body was doing, the main core of the body once the momentum of the body had come to a final position before moving into the next pose I knew that was where I needed a key pose so I had one here and then I had one here that was where the weight had come up if we go back to the ref there that was my maximum weight so the bag continues but for me that's overlap that wasn't the key pose that for me was the key pose and that was then a breakdown, uh, sorry um, an in-between so there was my key pose and then that one I added in afterwards and that was a key pose here as the weight comes down. Um, and then I had a breakdown, not literally, <laughs> although actually I think I nearly did, um, which was here. Um, this is in the blocking, I actually exaggerated that more when I had the bag rig where I then stretched this out to really show how this bag was heavy and it was getting dragged behind. And so once I had those three keys in, 
it was then really a case of just putting my breakdowns in. So again, like I mentioned earlier here, really exaggerating that bag. Um, hasn't got the bend in here, but I, I tried to add a nice little arc in there as well, so it wasn't just this horrible straight angle there. But yeah, I added a lot of overlap there. Then it starts to come down, hand starts to get to its final position, and bag then follows. So you get a real load of drag, and that's where you can then put your timing in, the speed between this frame and this frame, and how quickly they get, and how, how quickly it gets to that next frame. That's then your timing. So those three elements are your most important things. If you can get them right, your weight will look correct. So quick tips I know, um, but I hope it can help you in some way, and hopefully you can put it then into your animations and your short films, and I look forward to seeing them. Thanks for listening.